Even in Yagumo, where I thought our people would be so kind and benevolent towards us, there's gonna be terrible people everywhere, right? It's not a matter of region, race, gender, nah. If there's human beings around or something like that, you can bet that there's gonna be some shitty people. Now, the tax collector was actually chill. I thought that he would be like the most unfair person here to oppress us, but no. It's a very interesting system where Yagumo is a region, multiple villages and tribe leaders, yet someone from the kingdom, kingdom shows up on behalf and kind of does the whole taxation stuff and also, you know, the transport of rice to the uh, kingdom to kind of sell that, which we're going to be acting as like the bodyguard, I think. And even like the charges that we're going to be making on that Gon guy, like, the kingdom kind of has the full jurisdiction of like, okay, you did bad thing, therefore, bad, you're gonna go to jail or something. I wonder if we're gonna be fine or if we should be worrying, but uh, let's begin today's reaction. We're moving rice today. That's right, jail. That's actually impressive his face healed up that much. Healing magic. Good. <laughs> Prison camp. Dude, a village elder's son is being sent to a prison camp. This is amazing. Okay. So. Ooh, father. Granny getting lonely? Granny feeling a little, I don't know, alone and missing the touch of another man. <laughs> is, is grandfather you know, the dad? The, the, I, don't, I don't know, maybe, bro. Yo, Granny put some nudes in that letter. Yo, Baba put her, like, lipstick on that letter. Okay. Meaning it's not gonna get delivered. <laughs> What's the letter you missed? Bye-bye. So Shin's coming with two. Karaku. Karaski. This is reminiscent of... I probably shouldn't just say a random Japanese play. But something about this reminds me of Rurouni Kenshin and like Edo period Japan. Exactly, right? Osaka maybe. I don't, I don't know. Something like that. Wait, 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 wait. What about the letter? Mm -hmm. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Royal lineage, Japanese kingdom, kind of. Bye, Mr. Hunter, man. Dora, Dora the Hunter. Bald. Not really bald. It's Connie. That's right. Get in there, the prison camp. 30 years of hard labor. You are gonna... Come on, Shin, come on. That's what Ryu should be saying. You can't do shit to Shin. Well, he said he was thinking. He was thinking, all right? He can't do it. Does he feel guilty about it? I wonder. Ooh, ramen. Look at that Gucci. Slurp it. Slurp those noodles. Oh, yeah, taste that broth first. Happy, happy. I'm worried about happy, happy slice of life. It means shitty things are about to happen. It's actually, yeah, it is very jarring. Ryu looks like, like a... Some sort of, like, space cadet. I don't know. His outfit compared to everyone else wearing traditional Japanese garments back in like the Edo period versus Ryo wearing like the fuck is this? Super futuristic like black swordsman shit. Okay, hopefully that's not a flag. デート。デート。よかったらこの後、え?新さんにもできれば佐代さんを連れて行ってほしいと頼まれたんです。いや、前に作ってくれかになったから、次は言わせないためとか。Only yeah. reason he wants her to eat kamutan is so that she can understand the flavor so she can reproduce it back at home. Onna. でも 
本当はただサヨさんにも食べさせてあげたいんじゃないでしょうか。いや、maybe、yeah. いいお兄さんですね。But I want you to be my お兄さん。そこのお兄さん、かわいい彼女へ贈り物はいかがですか。girlfriend。あら、お似合いだから手元土産に一つ。ね、おいしい。You're gonna give it for free? そうですね。サヨさん、何か欲しいものはありますか Anything. Pick whatever you want. Wait a minute. Uh, I remember this being like a cliche, a trope, where you go on like a date kind of thing and you're kind of shopping around and you pick up a gift, but that gift later on like turns out to be like the thing that symbolizes something bad happening because it's just gonna get dropped on the ground or it breaks. This happens time and time after. So, whatever we pick here. Later on, something bad's gonna happen, and that thing breaking or being left behind will be symbolism. Yeah, it's a premonition. It's a bad omen. This never it goes well. You're just hustling. Yeah. Oh. What do you think? Looks good. <gasps> He's in love with me. He must be in love with me if he's complimenting me. And she's just hustling. We got a lot of money, right? I wonder relative to how much like money they like would earn to like survive back home. What two silver tablets really mean? Like we're probably buying some luxury like Louis Vuitton bag for her right now. Oh, she's still hustling us. I could never haggle over the price of a gift for a lady. <laughs> that line actually goes so hard. Because it's like a very like an ego check of like, yeah, I got the money. I would never, you know, make this like a scene and try to haggle and, you know, shame and bring disgrace upon my lady. Now I'll pay. I'll pay twice, actually. I'll, I'll give you four fucking things. Keep the change. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she got her bag. You got no clue, lady. You've already left behind so many girls in different places. Like, you think you're new? No, there's a lineup. Sedia is still waiting for the fucking letters, okay? There's also a girl? Oh. What the fuck? Wait, what um what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Someone stop and then someone get him. <laughs> Look at that. Someone get him. I'll just run away, bro. Someone get him! That's not the right direction. Oh. 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 Savior too. Oh. She's probably like a super important royal. She must be like the Emperor's daughter here. The Shogun's daughter. Shin Sengumi. Sai is just perma blushing. Your name, we want to reward you. Yeah, she is definitely such an important daughter. Probably of like whoever is a ruler here. Dude. Ryu just like comes across whoever is like the king or the emperor's like, you know, like kids all the time. Like Flora. Christina, Seria shit, right? They showed up out of nowhere. It's like, hello. What happened after? Went to like the wilderness place, right? And in that place, the chief elders kind of accepted us, but there was like the important people around that. Yagumo, village elder tribe daughter, family here. Dude, everywhere we go, we always find the ruling candidates like family. Oh, hey, there's a tax guy, right? Okay, here it is. Yo, Yuba Baba was taking his dick? I mean, damn, he's a giga chat. Yeah, he looks beefy. Yuba Baba. She thirsty. That's right. It's her news in there. Nani? What? Yeah. Family? <laughs> Royal lineage. We have to be royalty here. 100% Ryu has to be royalty here. The title, his reaction. 
remember how important the mom and dad was too. We don't even know exactly why they got exiled or something either, right? He must have ties to whatever ruling family is here. <laughs> you don't ask, how was it? Wow, really? You had a nice time? It's also funny that he didn't take, you know, Sayo before. Like, he just went with Gota and, you know, Ryu and says, Oh man, one of these days I want to take her, but it's like, she's here right now. And then fucking Ryu took her and now he's like, Make that fucking ramen for me, onna. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's a gift. <laughs> Everyone knows. No, we're not courting her. We're not. Look at that. Look at that bow. The respect that they're showing us. Dekozaru. Dekozaru. Ain't nobody seen Dekozaru here. Attendant of my mom. Ayame. Okay. Ayame. Ayame. Mom's attendance. Must be so important. There it is. Yup. Yeah, tell me. Tell me the family. Oh. Zen. Cool. And he defeated me. Damn! The dad came from nothing through sheer, like, combat ability. He rose to the status of, like, soldier and then, like, then became, like, a bodyguard. And then he bagged the mom, who was, like, the daughter of the royal family. That's crazy, bro. Started from the bottom and then <laughs> waited all the way up there. There's the mom. Mm -hmm. Forbidden love. Falling in love with the bodyguard. <laughs> I sometimes think about like this relationship between like celebrities. Like a celebrity, like, I don't know, even like K-pop idols and like the bodyguards that they have. I wonder if there's stories of like, or even like Japan, like idols and like different bodyguards, right? Wonder if there's any like, you know, examples where like, you know, this cliche of royalty or someone's super important status, you know, gets very affectionate with the bodyguard and then, you know, they're like, they make a family. Okay. This guy looks shitty. Ayah. Wait, 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 what? The prince resented the fact that his attendant had been killed. The prince sent the attendant to kidnap the royal daughter. And then he got mad because his attendant died in the pursuit of trying to do shitty things to the royal daughter. And now Zen is in trouble. Huh? Wait, it, where's the justice? Where is the people to be like, yep, troop, deserve that? You know what? Fuck that prince to kill him. That's crazy. <laughs> Bruh. Mm, that makes more sense. They ran away together. And then we don't even know where the dad was, right? Because the last thing we see is just mom and then she also just gets... She just dies by like an assaulter. You ba ba ba. You are one of us. The return of the king. Oh, the queen. Mm, yeah. This is just like how, you know, the first arc kind of went with the shitty kingdom back home, you know, with Christina and Flora, you know, sitting on the fucking chairs. But hopefully this will be a nicer meeting. And Komomo too, man. Where's Komomo at? Oh. Oh. Your Majesty's. Grandfather. Grandmother. 
まずは席に座っ失礼しますリオ本当に早めに即殿下こそ母にそっくりだと感じたのですが私らスタッフ<笑> Stop it! I don't really know. So, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to Assaulter. Ooh, this is gonna be messy. Oh, I don't know if she likes it. Some dude just showed up. Oh, we have a name. What? And I'm sure he must have killed Zen too, then. Maybe not, but. Oh, he was Zen's friend before? Well, maybe not friend. He worked together. He used to help us. That motherfucker. He must have been thirsty for the mom. He acted nice, but got rid of the dad. And then tried to be the dad that stepped up. And slowly but surely, he tried to make a move. And the mom was probably like, ew, go away. And then it turned into the whole, like, grape assault scene. <laughs> That drawing is ass. I'm not putting that on the fridge. Lucius, this guy, where are you now, you piece of shit? Jesus. Demons. You're making us chug something. That's a metaphor, right, about him being a demon? Huh? Fuck you, Lucius! Now, Lucius saying demon in like human skin, it's just the, like a metaphor that he's it's like a true monster. I don't think he's an actual demon race or anything. I wonder what he made Rio chug there. I thought it was like some sort of poison stuff, but he's still alive. So just something to kind of like, I don't know, just not be able to move. And how did you survive that? How did he survive that too? Did he? Did Lucius want us to watch everything that we were happening to mom? No, he kind of woke up later. We got away. He didn't kill us. We have no clue what happens after the whole knife thing, right? That's kind of ambiguous on how that flashback ends. It's just like... I, I, I don't know. It's just... How? how? What happened to him? I... I don't know. And this isn't... I don't think the potion is the reason why he got his memories back. He got his memories back way, way, way later. But like, what the fuck happened after all this? That's, that's the ambiguous part. Uh, being abused, living like an orphan, left in the slums. Lucius couldn't bother finishing off the kid because he has a good heart. And then he got roped in with the bandits. Laura. And then I got gaslit. Scholarship. But they all racist as fuck. Yeah, Seria. Poor kid. Bye, Seria. I promise I'll write letters. No, no, I doubt it. No. Yes, Seria. Well, he revealed that he's an Isekai character. That at a certain point, I got my old memories reawakened. <laughs> I'm actually also a Haruto from Japan, which is also just like here, by the way. We got ramen back home. Better than, you know, your Kamuten. Anyways, uh, I'm a 20 year old university student. Too. What would they think? We're not, not going to bring that up, right? We're not going to bring that up. Lucius. Where is he? Vengeance! Of course. It just destroys. I am an Avenger! Then so be it. I shall walk into the depth of the flames. Will you follow me, grandfather and grandmother? 
Come on, pussy, let's go. Yes. Okay. Oh. It's gonna be not close. Okay, he's the strongest. Mm -hmm. I think that Lucius played nice and wanted the mom and backstabbed Zen and then did some sketchy shit afterwards and then tried to get close to us and then did the thing. Goki. Let's see the spar. いずれルシウスと対峙するのなら承知しました。手ほどきしていただけるのならぜひ。父上、母上、あなた様は、どうしました。あ、コモモ嬢様の恩人でいらっしゃる。コモモ。どうでしたか。あ、who is she in relation to us? So I guess she's granddaughter somehow. Different friends? I don't know. Let's go. He's still growing. Yo! Goki's moving fast! And now I will try. Oh! That? What is it? Hideous kill! Spear arts! Here's the thing though, like, I don't think these people can use spirit art. I'm not sure if they can actually, but like, it, like, like Ryo is like a god compared to them. Like that, that hidden blade, cool, cool. But like, bro, the people here couldn't even know how to fake fucking water hot. And with our training from the wilderness people, like, bro, our spirit art, it's crazy. We're flying and shit too. It's over. Woo! The strongest warrior lost to a kid. Yeah, he's the real deal. Yeah, we should train Goki instead. We should train all you motherfuckers how to make water hot. I'm gonna Beltram next. Mm. そなたのありがとうございます。うん、she's I don't know. That's today's episode. Um, based on that last bit of monologue from Rio, it sounded like like he's gonna lean into the dark side, but I don't think he's gonna. He'll, he'll probably get close, of like achieving the revenge. But right before doing it, there's probably gonna be some cliche moment of like one of the girls showing up and be like hugging from behind, be like no, you're not like this. And right before he uh, you know does the deed, he realizes you know what I'm better at this and we can move on. Like I that that that. Quite often, like people who walk down a path of vengeance always get saved by, you know, a waifu who tries to like make them still, right? Kind of like Ryuga and Kenta right now in Beyblade Fury. Anyways, <laughs> today's episode was, it was a shocker, kind of expected, because Ryo is such an important character and it, the his lineage literally goes all the way to, you know, like the grandfather, grandmother. They're literally the kings and the queen of this place. Edo period Japan, it looks like Osaka, maybe some Rurouni Kenshin shit. And we learn more about like who actually killed mom, Lucius. This guy is the end goal. It seems like he's gonna be the main antagonist at the final battle. I don't know, it's a personal vendetta. Who knows when this is gonna get resolved. I was kind of confused about the potion stuff, but it, maybe it was just to kind of make the kid unconscious. And if Ryo is able to actually, you know, because like Haruto is like a good guy and Ryo is like the more edgy side. So if we can lean more into Ryo's side, like I think something cool can happen. Also, our hair colors still haven't changed and the spirit within us still hasn't awakened and made a covenant. When the fuck is that happening? That's it from me. If you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time...
Take care.